<laughs> you want to head north, and how you test yourself is you look for pure water. And you can find pure water channels in salt water, and you can do it just by drinking it. And once you find pure water, you want to find that channel and head towards the north. Now, if you find yourself doing that, then you'll understand that you could possibly find yourself into channels of pure water and maybe lead yourself into an opening in physicality towards a spiritual progression towards the north and towards the hollow earth and towards many of the, the other journeys. The other thing that you have to deal with is the journey itself being the test. And depending on what phase you are before the ascension, after the ascension, that dying is part of ascension. That many people think, oh, I'm looking to ascend, and that is going to another stage beyond this life, and that sometimes knowing that transmuting death is dying in and of itself, and the concept that we call shaheed, or being a martyr in Islam, occurs many ways, by obviously on a battlefield giving yourself in the cause of a just and noble fight, that is a whole other political conversation that we're not getting into, but by defending yourself or defending your honor, defending your family, dying through disease, dying in a natural catastrophe, drowning at sea, for those who are talking about water, uh, in an earthquake, all these other natural disasters are considered causes that the Lord has deemed appropriate to take a soul in a noble status a natural catastrophe or an accident or something as insignificant that we might think of as a car accident is a natural catastrophe deemed by God to take a soul. These people are all considered shuhada, those who are of the faith who believed in God who were taken by natural catastrophes, right? Natural disasters. Now, dying upon the sea and drowning is also that. <clears throat> but you have to understand that those who are of faith are always telling you that you must understand that at any point in the process, those who are enlightened are trying to tell you at any point in the process, from building the boat, for having to get onto the sea, from being at that last moment of struggle and deciding possibly to help another instead of yourself, to be in the service of others in that last struggling moment at sea, to be lost and trying to find water, to finding that pure water to drink, to finding the right way. Depending on where you go in your journey, you have at any moment the choice to find another path. And at any moment, the door can open for you as soon as you're ready to decide that you no longer need to take that journey and you're ready to admit that anything can happen for you. If you understand where this leads as possibly in a journey via pure waters to a hollow earth or to a stage beyond death and you're willing to let go of the world and give it all up for a belief that you're finding a true path upon the sea to having angels come and take your soul away as a person upon the path journey of enlightenment that he understood from our brother of light, Noah. And as a believer in the fundamentals of faith, we believe in all the prophets of light, right? We understand what is the deeper meaning of their story. And so because of all these things, I wanted to bring to you some of the lyrics of a famous song that talks about this concept and even closes with the supernatural concept of what many of my brothers and sisters know is one of the pathways that leads out of this world to the next. This fake matrix, this non-reality to the true reality of the afterlife of any of those who are upon the ascension path will guarantee you that there is more 
going on than you can understand. And those of us who are upon the light are telling you, the light does not need to be bought and sold. It exists in everything around you. And I always like to tell you, it is there in the stories. It is there in the tales. It is there in the cultures. It is there in the ancient scriptures. It is there in the words of all of the prophets and all the books. It is there in the movies. It is there on TV. And it is even there in the songs. And because we like to talk about pop culture and even American pop culture, because it is there in the perfection of all that exists. And because you're watching the hotconflict.com video series on the unseen, I'm talking about the significance of the harmonic convergence. I got to say, being a Muslim who grew up in America who understands rock and roll, it's there in rock and roll. Great words sung by great poets and great music. I'm sailing away, set up open course for the virgin sea. I've got to be free, free to face the life that's ahead of me. On board, I'm the captain, so climb aboard. We'll search for tomorrow on every shore. And I'll try, oh Lord, I'll try to carry on. I look to the sea. Reflections in the waves spark my memory. Some happy, some sad. I think of childhood friends and the dreams we had. We live happily forever, so the story goes. But somehow we missed out on that pot of gold. But we'll try best that we can to carry on. You see, the stories are always there and the music's always there. If you can feel the vibration as strongly as I'm feeling it right now, then you can understand that if you're understanding harmonic frequencies, that words and music will only be aligned when they perfectly balance that nature, then you will know that after I finish reading this, you can go and listen to this song and understand this words, and it'll relate to you the deepness of the meaning that I've told you. And if you find yourselves lost, you will understand what the beauty of the frequency of the song and the words of the song and even the band telling it to you to come sail away on those seas as our brothers and sisters who understand if you didn't understand, if you've never understood it, if you've never heard it before, or if you've always been a fan of those who know how to get across the river Styx. If you've listened to the song before and understood its meaning, from now on, this is your wake-up call. A gathering of angels appeared above my head. They sang to me this song of hope, and this is what they said. They said, come sail away, come sail away, come sail away with me. Come sail away, come sail away, come sail away with me. Come sail away, come sail away, come sail away with me. And then it goes straight into the supernatural and it's right there. I thought that they were angels, but to my surprise, they climbed aboard their starship and headed for the skies. Singing, come sail away, come sail away, come sail away with me. Assalamu alaikum, peace.